Zoe Deschanel inspired look. So if you want to learn, you can just keep playing this video! No, but really. I currently have on the individual um, false lashes. They were on last night and I didn't feel like taking them off because they aren't a pain to put on, but they do take time. So I have those on, just a little disclaimer. So first step, applying foundation all over your face. So now you're gonna take your kabuki brush and some form of loose powder and just get that all over your face to get a nice matte finish. When you're putting it on with a kabuki brush, you wanna be sure to be dabbing it on and not rubbing in circles because that will just remove what you have already put on. So Zoe's eyebrows don't need much tension just because they are pretty much covered by her bangs. Um, mine are already filled in a little bit. Um, she's also got a little bit of a rounder shape, so I'm just gonna kind of go curly cute or rainbow. Um, just fill them in a little bit more and make them a little bit, fill them in, but also make them a little bit cur curvier and lighter. Okay, so now we're gonna start um, highlighting and contouring just a little bit. I'm gonna take this white pencil and I'm just gonna go along the brow line just to highlight it a little bit more and make it a little bit more prominent. Just take your um, middle finger, kind of dab it along to blend it out to make it a little bit softer. Take one that's about that shade. It's kind of a nude neutral. Um, and we're going to use that to contour along the nose. Zoe has a bit of a kind of heart diamond shape down here. So I'm first going to take right here. I'm going to take that and I'm going to slim it out. So it's kind of gross and dark right now. I'm going to take my kabuki brush and soften it out a little bit. Not too much though because you want to keep the shadowing. I'm going to take a highlighter um, brush and do the tip of my nose in a more of a, a white color. So now it kind of looks like I got a nose job. Mm -hmm. Then take that um, highlighter brush again and just highlight the more prominent parts of her face. the peachy, kind of pinkish. This one, it's just a little bit darker and I'm gonna take that and put that more on the back just to keep my cheeks, in the hollows of my cheeks just to enhance them a little bit more. Taking this tan and go all over the lid. Take that and just blend that out. Dark brown right here and this brush and just gonna kind of pat the lower um, part of my upper lid. Just kind of darkening that lower part. And blend that up. I'm 
And then I'm gonna take this really thin brush and take um, a mixture of the dark brown and kind of the smoky brown. I'm gonna go underneath the eye and drag it out so kind of a false cat eye. Um, And then taking a black liner, I'm just going to line the top of my lid. Now I'm going to take this, um, this brush and a white powder and highlight kind of the apples of my cheeks. Um, I already have blush on there, but I'm just going to brighten it up a little bit. I'm going to go very lightly on the bottom. So I'm going to go back in with a Q-tip and I'm just going to clean up the underneath. So next time you see me, my hair will be dry. It's up in a wet bun right now. Um, it will probably be curly and I might have my extensions in. So, see you in a little bit. Okay, so this is my hair curled with the extensions in. So for the final touches, I have... This strand of hair is left over. Um, my extensions were like this long, long piece or whatever, and I made them with the individual clips. So this is left over, um, and I just cut it off to match my kind of crown size. Um, and I'm going to attempt to make false bangs of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of see where I want it to fall on my crown. You can kind of see like right up there. Um, and then kind of place, um, I'm going to put it in position with bobby pins and then I'm going to kind of figure out where I want it to cut and then cut it and adjust and we'll get the ball rolling. Um, for my hair I used a one inch barrel separated in diagonal sections back. Her eyes are very wide so I'm going to uh, highlight, or I'm going to take this and go on my waterline and the white is just going to make my eyes a little bit more. This is my Zoe Deschanel inspired look. Um, I contoured my nose a little bit to try to give her more of like the rabbit diamond shape that she's got going on. Um, I've got very pink cheeks. We've got false lashes on. And this is my Zoe Deschanel look, especially with like the hair. you're doing these bangs are bugging me oh my god this is why I don't have bangs anymore last time I had them was like when Lizzie McGuire was on thank you Hilary Duff <laughs>